All right, twin force fusion. And I was asked maybe to explain the difference between the Nano EcoBoost 2.7 versus the 3.0 that the Lincoln has. Um, I will focus um, for the 2.7, I'll focus uh, power wise the, uh, the fusion, uh, only the power that change versus let's say a F-150 or an SUV. Uh, but Boris Stroke, it's always the same on it. It's a very square engine, as you can see, 83.06 mil for the bore, and same thing for the stroke. The, com the compression ratio, it's 10, 3 to 1. It's higher than the 3.0, we'll come to that. Uh, but one of the questions we're asked is regarding the cylinder block material, on the 2.7, which is the same as the F-150. So basically all the 2.7s, the, the block is compact graphic iron, so CGI. Uh, on the Fusion itself, um, twin turbos are for Borg Warner and their uh, 34.65 uh, inducer and 50.3 50 mil. Uh, all the rest the same, configuration the same, you know, six picks in dock and all that. Uh, another thing that I uh, found out is the factory boost is set at 13 PSI. Uh, the difference uh, with the 3.0 uh, from Lincoln, basically the 3.0, um, it's all, it's a car engine, was made for car originally, but uh, later on was put in the SUVs. Uh, but it's not offering a truck or whatsoever. So uh, a bump of three millimeter on the bore and stroke compared to the 2.7, you can see it's 85.3 and 86. So fairly square engine also, but the compression ratio is lower at 9.5 to one. So almost a point, but not, not a full point, but almost there. Power wise, see 400 horsepower and 400 torque. Um, cylinder heads are the same by the way um, you could take heads from one and put the I did my searches already uh, so the heads are the same the intake manifold is the same I was planning to uh, maybe find a OEM plus upgrade from the trio to put on the 27 I figure I'll uh, look at the uh, intake manifold it's the same so you're not gonna uh, gain anywhere from there. The gains are from the bore and stroke, basically the 300 cc extra replacement you have. Uh, I confirm with uh, a four technician uh, because I did play some calls because I wanted to have some stuff resolved. And after a lot of search, the cylinder block of the 3.0, it's cast aluminum. It's not compacted graphite iron. Uh, the only place that mentioned the 3.0 nano EcoBoost is CGI is in the Wikipedia. A Wikipedia, I think anyone can go put information there. I'm not sure. I do consult Wikipedia once in a while, but usually I'll, I'll try to stick uh, more at uh, Ford uh, pages or on this case, uh, car and driver said the block was in cast aluminum. The rest are all the same. Obviously, the turbos are a little bigger from the same company, War Warner. But instead of 34.65, we have 39.4 and a little bit bigger at 50.8 versus 50.3. The big difference here, and I, um, the Ford technician told me, um, Lincoln has a soft um, boost bike gear setup. Uh, basically, the, there's a little less boost on first gear. Now, he cannot confirm it, but he thinks it's between 10 and 12 PSI. Uh, second gear, about 12 PSI. And once it gets in third and fourth gear, whatever, it's 15 PSI. The reason to do that, I think Lincoln wants to have that plush uh, luxury, uh, plush uh, feel, like a comfort feel. Uh, so that's why they have a boost by gear, which is cool. I really... On, uh, on manual cars in the past, uh, we had that option uh, when we had a tune. So those are the main big difference. Um, 
Now, for those who uh, may be scared about cast aluminum blocks, they, they, they are strong. Uh, maybe not as strong as a compact, compacted graphite iron because CGI are used in the diesel world. Uh, cast aluminum can take a lot of abuse. All you have to uh, see is the uh, 3.5 EcoBoost that's in the F-150 or um, the show. Uh, again, I never got a chance to see the 3.0 from under a car. All I saw uh, was one from the top. A guy had this, uh, they call it midnight sleeper car. One thing I noticed though, between on the passenger side between the ECU and the oil filter that we have, they have an oil cooler, which I find cool. I wish it'd be somewhere else. I'll, I, that's another avenue I may take in the future, put an oil cooler on the, uh, the Fusion, on the Twin Force. Uh, I just wish it would be somewhere, actually get fresh air, but oil cooler, you get a chance to run a little bit more oil. So I will see if it's an easy bolt-on I may uh, order the uh, the OEM parts uh, from a Ford dealership and and see what I can do after that. So that's it. That's all. So the the main reason I did this video was more to find about the material of the block from a Ford technician and ninety eight percent of the search I found it's cast aluminum for those who wanted to know and obviously bore stroke is bigger and the compression ratio is lower. Uh, again, for smoothness and uh, for higher boosts uh, from the Lincoln. So I hope this answers some question. If anyone has different answers or more information uh, that be useful from uh, a Fusion owner, uh, please share. Thank you. Bye.